everyone. After one and a half year of patiently waiting, I received my armor brush today. So I just wanted to give you a short unpacking and review on the product. But wait a second. Before we start right into, um, I would like to talk about the last one and a half year um, waiting for this brush and waiting for this product. Um, every one of you knows the communication on Kickstarter was very, very poor. Um, so were the first reviews of the product. The mouthpiece wasn't really working, the pump of the, for, the, um, for the toothpaste wasn't working too. So I would like to do a whole new review because um, Armor Brush promised that the quality would be better. So I would like to keep all these rumors aside and do a, yeah, a new review from the ground up. Um, so I focus on four criteria. First one is the packing. The second one is the handling of the brush. The third one will be the cleaning power. And the fourth is the comfort of the product. How is it to use? How, how does it feel? And this is my four criteria. Um, I decided to review this on a scale from one to 10. So you guys have the perfect foundation of whether to buy it or not. So let's dive right into it. The armor brush came within a box um, with a starter set, another three pots of toothpaste and another uh, mouthpiece. In this uh, feedback uh, paper, um, it's in German, um, armor brush told us about yeah that they had problems with the uh, with the manufacturing and that there were some broken mouthpieces and toothpaste boxes and that's why the additional two pieces were in the package. Um, so let's start the unboxing. The box comes in a nice shape. Um, it looks very nice. Um, obviously everything's in German. I think for the for the USA um, they're going to have a new package but it looks very nice. Let's open this up. It's very, yeah, it feels very nice and it looks very nice. We have the accessories and the handpiece and mouthpiece. Um, so let's open this up. There's another letter um, where all the, yeah, uh, a special thanks to the super VIP backers. Um, they paid a lot for this product. I hope um, my review shows that it was worth it. And this seems to be the manual. I'm going to read this through um, before we start with the, with the actually functionality test because I don't want to have any mistakes or, or do something wrong with the brush because um, as, the, yeah, as the developer said, this is a whole new way of brushing your teeth so I don't want to do anything wrong. This is the wireless charger. Just let me put it out. Um, looks like that. Wireless charging station. Um, yet some of the backers um, bought a basic, uh, basic variant and some bought a pro variant, but every one, every single one now receives uh, this wireless charger. So let's see what's inside. We have the charger here and the charging station. The armor brush logo inside. The obviously not USB-C port. But but I, I really don't get the, the rumors about this because, well, it's a charging station. It's a wireless charging station. Um, it looks very good. Obviously, it's plastic, but it feels it feels worthy. It's not like it's the cheapest shit. It's, it's nice. So let's go on. In the basic box, we have these three uh, pots of, of uh, toothpaste, um, the extra fresh one, the green one, the, the, the silky one, that's the purple one, and the pearl white, the white one. I, I feel like it's a little more, yeah, it's a little more fluid than it was in the videos at the beginning. So I hope this works out. Um, let's go on with the brush itself. Here we go. Um, I'll just get this out here. The brush is packed very safely, so nothing, nothing should be damaged or something like that. Let's open it up. And here we go. 
This is the armor brush. Wow, the magnetic connection seems to be strong. Um, if someone already saw some pictures about the armor brush and the mouthpiece, I think they changed these little green spots here and the, there, there seems to be a, a plastic part inside the mouthpiece. So that's, that's yeah, more stable than it was um, in the videos and on the pictures I saw the last time. So this is the mouthpiece, mouthpiece and this is the handpiece. This is the button to, to push the, the fluid in. And here we go. Yeah, at the moment there are different types of different types of oh vibration. It starts. It's it seems to have some power. So let's go on. We already know what's inside here, so I'll keep this aside and let's start with the review. So first of all, um before we start with the review, I would like to say something about the pods because there is a security um, seal on it and we have to open it. Um, I think some of the people that already tested the armor brush forgot about this seal. Um, so the tooth, um, the toothpaste didn't get into the mouthpiece. Um, yeah, let's try it. I just put it in here. I think we have to, we have to put the mouthpiece away. Yeah, put it in. Let's see. I'll just pump sometimes. Yeah, yeah, nice. There we go. So it seems to work. I'll just clean the mess up. Before we start with the actual power test of the armor brush, I didn't brush my teeth for the whole day and I didn't find the black pills armor brush used in their videos, but I found something like something similar. So let's try this. Yeah, let's, let's try this thing out. Hmm. Kitzels. I actually don't feel that much of a difference. Mm, the, my teeth are rough um, as they were before. I don't think that it really cleaned my teeth, but um, the toothpaste really yeah, made it into the mouthpiece. So that seems to work. Well, it's very easy to clean. I'll just click it together again and put it back into the docking station. Um, we have a little charging light here. So. That's it for my first test. Now let's go to the review. So let's get back to the criteria. The first one was the packing. I think the packing comes in a very nice shape. It looks great. There are several different ideas and the, the design concept is very nice, but it's nothing like, wow, something special. So I think a value of eight points is valid here. Let's go on to the next criteria. The handling of the toothbrush was very good. It feels worthy, although it's all made of plastic. So it's it's not like junky or something. It feels good, but it's not what I expected it to be. So I'll give a six in score. So now um, let's go to the most important point, the cleaning power. As you all saw, um, I tried to make this plaque test and the toothbrush did not work, work very well. After I made the video, I tried the toothbrush two times again in this power mode for 20 seconds. So I brushed my teeth around one minute with the armor brush. Even though I fixated the handpiece, um, so the vibration gets over to the mouthpiece, it didn't feel like the toothbrush was really, really cleaning my teeth. This rough feeling stayed and I wish to really brush my teeth with a normal toothbrush. So for this, I think there was a little cleaning. The, the fresh toothpaste made my mouth feel a little fresher, but um, I'll give a, a two in a rank. And the last thing, the comfort. I really expected a lot of this product. The imagination of just cleaning your teeth for 10 seconds, two or even three times a day and have a nice feeling all the day. This will not become true with this product. So that's why I can just suggest a review of two 
in terms of comfort. But I think this is a great idea. As every product, there has to be some development. I think this idea can really work, but the Armor Brush number one or version number one doesn't really clean your teeth. Thanks for watching the review to Armor Brush version number one. Maybe there'll be another review to the 2.0 version. Leave some comments I would like to discuss about this product. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.